Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to another reading. This is a general reading, guys. May or may not resonate. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Because there is a lack of reconciliation here. Yeah, things are not changing. There's someone here who's not making a decision and there's a lack of reconciliation here and someone's choosing not to give something a second opportunity and they're moving forward. And then something's, someone's moving forward. You're moving on from someone or they're moving on from you. Okay, someone does not want to give something a second opportunity or a second chance out here. There's a lack of reconciliation here. Um, tell me what's on Taurus's mind. What is on Taurus's mind when it comes to this person they're dealing with? Yeah, see, King of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Six of Swords here. You're moving on, Taurus. You're moving on. I think you're planning because there's been a heartbreak, a separation, a breakup, okay? Someone could have cheated on you, lied, or someone put you in a third party situation. You're choosing to move on, okay? You're choosing to move forward, move away from this person. Now, the Six of Swords is more like just bondering, you know? You're just going wherever the wave takes you is what I'm getting, okay? But you're just getting away to calmer waters here and choosing to focus on yourself, your money, your stability, security, etc., okay? But I don't think you're waiting for this person because you don't want a reconciliation with them is what I'm getting. See? Tower in reverse here. You're planning to play it safe because you think this person... Reconciling with this person is quite a disaster, you know, so you're trying to avoid a reconciliation with this person. What is going on on this person's mind when it comes to Taurus? Hmm. Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here. Taurus, you could be dealing with someone who was very focused on being single. They wanted to be single. They didn't want to have a commitment. They were okay on their own. You know, they were choosing their finances, their business, their money. And very focused on their own um, self, you know, who were doing okay on their own. Okay. That's the kind of person here who's wanting to be in a commitment with you now. This person is ready to be in a relationship with you. But with the, with the two of pentacles here, this person's indecisive, okay? They're ready for this, but they're still indecisive. I feel this person wants a second chance with you, but they don't know how to. They're juggling the decision. You know, they're going back and forth here. See, with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here. This is someone who's not putting any effort right now, okay? But they want to communicate with you. Or they see you as someone who's just fed up and giving them an ultimatum, okay? But I feel there's some kind of communication that they want to do with you. This person is ready to be in a commitment, but they're still juggling the idea of being in a relationship because this person could have been someone who's commitment phobic or someone who just loves being single, okay? They, they are very fond of their independence and they feel that independence can be threatened if they get into a relationship. And this is something that you always wanted, okay? And they broke your heart or probably because of a third party situation or again, a third party situation does not have to be someone romantically involved, but someone or something that came between you both externally. And you're fed up, tired, and you're just not wanting to do this again. You don't want to repeat your mistakes, and you're moving forward here. What does Taurus feel for this person? With the Magician in reverse and the Six of Pentacles here, you're definitely... Um, wanted an equal give and take okay you wanted a reciprocity you wanted a balanced relationship out here but clearly you feel like you were dealing with someone who was manipulative someone who probably just always wanted to be single but someone you know who always got their way in back to you you know i'm getting someone very very manipulative someone who had a trick under their sleeve but someone who was wearing a false mask in this relationship or this connection here you felt like you were dealing with a player or someone, you know, who was just um, constantly uh, a very self-serving energy. Someone who do, does things only for their benefits, okay? And you feel very manipulated. And I think right now, you're just doing nothing about it with a hangman here. 
this is also why you probably are feeling where you are losing the confidence of making things happen maybe you're trying to manifest this person okay but unfortunately you're doubting if you can manifest this person back or i feel you've just stopped manifesting this person okay how does this person feel for taurus what does this person feel for taurus This person wants a lot of communication. Okay, we have the eight of wands here. This person probably even wants to travel to you. Okay, if you're in long distance or a lot of back and forth communication online, social media. This person feels they need to make a decision. Okay, but they're very confused with the seven of cups here. This person does not, I don't feel this person has options. Well, that is another way of looking at it. Maybe for a few of you, this person needs to make a choice and they want to choose a different path this time, okay? This time they're choosing a different path, okay? And this time I feel they're choosing you. All this while from the decision that they always had to make, they always chose being single is what I'm getting. Or they always chose something that, you know, which was not in favor of this relationship or this connection. But right now with the seven of cups, this person is trying to make a choice, which is the right choice for them, okay? They're very confused. They're very overwhelmed is what I'm hearing with their um, choices. But I feel this time this person is choosing a different path here. They're doing something very brand new. Okay. And I feel what they're choosing is choosing you. Okay. But they're just, there is some confusion here. Okay. Which I feel they clear out eventually. But with the eight of wands here, this is someone who you had an ending with or someone who is more like, you know, emotionally un unavailable or someone who is just not wanting to be vulnerable. Okay. This person wants to come towards you. Like they want things to pick up, you know, they want to release whatever was there in the past and they want to take action towards you, moving forward towards you. Tell me, what is the mutual energy for Taurus and the person they're dealing with? They're still indecisive at the two of wands, but I feel this person will change, will take a new path, a new direction this time, is what they're feeling. It's just that they're very overwhelmed, okay, because they're very confused about what they should do and what they should not. What is the mutual energy between Taurus and the person they're dealing with? Two of Cups, bottom of the deck with the Ten of Cups. Wow. You both love each other so much. You both want this relationship. However, here you're both being stagnant here, okay? Feeling stuck, stagnant and not doing anything about it. There is this energy where you both want to confront the situation. This person probably even more. But there's this energy where you're both feeling stuck, but at the same time, you both want to talk to each other. You know, you both want to confront the situation. But no one's doing anything about it, okay? You're just, I think you're both in that energy of surrendering, letting it go, letting it flow, no controlling the outcome. I feel you're both just, um, you know, like just, um, are just stuck there. Everything's on a pause and no one's doing anything about it. Although both of y'all want to confront the situation now. You both know that the situation needs to be addressed right now. You're both suppressing communication. You're both suppressing the truth from coming out is what I'm getting. Okay. You're both determined not to talk. You're just like both are just like leaving it to the universe, you know. Like what happens, happens. But you're both thinking about it, okay. Just leaving the situation as is. What action will Taurus take towards this person moving forward? We have the Six of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the star here. So clearly, Taurus, you're wishing, hoping, praying that things will be okay and one day you guys will come into reunion because with the Six of Cups here, this is your soulmate, okay? You feel a very strong soul tie connection to this person. Someone you've had the best of memories with. Could be someone from your past, could be an ex, could be someone you had childhood memories with, okay? But this is the kind of connection you feel with them. But unfortunately here, you're not doing anything about it, okay? Because you just have this... There's a lot of frustration, okay, around the situation because something's just not changing. But Taurus, you need to understand things are not changing because right now you're on the hangman here, which is crossing the Knight of Swords. You need to talk... Or you probably feel this person needs to talk, but you're not doing anything about it. They're not doing anything about it. And that's why you feel something's not changing. Now, I also feel that you feel that probably you're stuck due to some external circumstances, okay, that cannot be avoided. But yes, there is a lot of frustration uh, due to this delay here, okay. Either there's something that's not moving in your favor, okay, or there's this... Something's just not on your side, luck is not on your favor, and you just feel things are just not changing here, okay. But I feel you're staying put. 
you love this person okay you probably even want to this is a union okay this is six of cups this is a soulmate connection you want this okay with the star here you're again you have a lot of hope and faith that some if it's divine timing i mean if it's destined and fated it'll be okay it'll be done okay with the six of wands here you definitely want to forward movement with this person okay you probably you have someone you know who still wants a label on this connection you still want forward moment you want something to be a success okay you want to be victorious with this person but when it comes in your action you're not doing anything about it because see you constantly feel your your um you're dealing with someone who's manipulative right or someone who's just not taking action towards you okay although you want this with the six of pentacles you want reciprocity but it's just not happening Tell me what action does this person plan on to taking towards Taurus? What what action does this person plan on taking towards Taurus? See, this is what the problem is. See, King of Cups, Four of Pentacles. You're, this person loves you a lot. Okay, they love you a lot. There is a lot of love that this person has for you. They feel very, very deeply for you. Okay, they have a lot of deep emotions for you. But for some reason, they're just holding back. The Four of Pentacles is a very stubborn energy, okay? Very stubborn energy. This person ha is very Im very mature, okay? They have the emotion stable. So this person has a very, he they have the head and heart imbalance here. Not someone overly emotional, not someone who will make very drastic decisions, okay? So the love is there. They love you to the moon and back, okay? But you will probably never be able to guess that love because they are very good at hiding it. Very good because they have mastered their emotions. They're holding back. They're choosing to hold back. With the Queen of Pentacles here, this person knows the, your value, okay? They see your worth, they see your value, they know what you're worth, they, they see you as marriage material, they know you want commitment, and they even probably even want to give you commitment here. They're ready for it, okay, in their mind. But when it comes to literally making that decision, Knight of Cups in reverse here, that's when they hold back. So you're dealing with someone immature, okay? Someone who's very hot and cold, in and out, commitment phobic, someone who doesn't want to be vulnerable, someone who has a hard time expressing their emotions, okay? But, um... This person is avoiding a confrontation with you, you know. See, seven of wands here. They're very defensive. They feel the need to guard themselves from you. Why? I don't know. But this person is, their guards are up, okay. They're literally blocking you out or they're just very stubborn in their ways, okay. They feel the need to protect themselves from you or probably, I think they're, they're avoiding confrontation, okay. Something that this person did wrong in the past, okay. Now they feel the need to stand up for themselves. And they're avoiding confrontation because they're seeing you as the queen, right? So you're the rock of the relationship. They always knew that. I think they're very afraid to approach you, okay? This person wants to take a leap of faith, okay? I think this person is more like, you know, this person's running away from commitment. This person wants to keep it very casual, you know? Not casual, they love you, right? But when it comes to something serious, something traditional, right? That's when this person is just in two minds, okay? And that's something they're not being able to figure out if they want this with you or not. But again, the love is there. The action's missing. They're very indecisive. What is the best possible outcome for Taurus and the person they're dealing with? Wow. Death and Six of Wands here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups here. You have a wish come true, Taurus. I feel they're finally going to make a decision. They will get out of their head, okay? They'll get out of those illusions and they'll make a decision with the death and the six of wands here. I feel there's something that has ending. This person is going through a huge transformation right now. They are at a very pivotal moment of their life, okay? They're, very, they're at a very important phase of their life and they're going through a huge transformation, okay? This person is making a huge alteration to their life. This person is going to come into you very changed, very unexpected. You're not going to be expecting this person, okay? And with the six of wands here... Give me one more card for the outcome for the six of wands and the death here why is the death and the six of wands here why is the death and the six of wands here why is the death and the six of wands here why is the nine of pentacles in reverse you know what i feel this person's um okay i feel you're ending things okay now i feel you're ending things and you're moving forward Okay, because of the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, you're fed up of, of investing, of investing 
your energies into a connection that you, where you feel strung along. First, I thought this person was moving forward. You know, sorry, the directions are wrong. You're ending things finally, okay? You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or you could have Scorpio in a bird chart, okay? But I think you're finally ending things. You're putting an end to this important phase of your life, okay? And you're choosing to move forward, okay? Very successfully, very victoriously. Like you have no regrets is what I'm getting, Taurus. Because you're fed up of investing into this person. You're tired. You feel strung along. This person is... This snoozed on you, Taurus, is what I'm getting. This snoozed on you, okay? And um, you feel strung along. This person is just taking forever to make a move towards you. And you're choosing to move forward, Taurus. See, it's their confusion here. They're constantly indecisive here, right? Again, the love is there, but what's the point of the love if it's not going to move forward, right? And you're constantly you're choosing to move forward because this person won't take action. You you love this person, Six of Cups. You have the best of memories for them. You would love a reconciliation. But the, the things don't seem to change. There is just no shift in this connection here. And what's worst is in the mutual decision, in the mutual energy, you're both not doing anything about it. This person wants to come talk towards you, but they're choosing to stay stagnant, okay? Choosing to stay stuck. And you feel stuck with them too. So, I mean, at least for right now, for the moment, you're choosing to walk away, okay? You're choosing to end this. Put an end to this cycle here is what I'm getting. You're put, choosing it, choosing to put an end to this cycle here. Because you're just feeling strung along, right? You feel like there is no movement forward. This person is just too slow to commit. Or just someone who's just very focused on themselves, okay? And they don't give you the attention or they neglect you, okay? You're just fed up. So that's why you're just going to move on, Taurus. Okay? That's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.